I think preseason actually has been a, a really good two weeks for us. Um, I've been really pleasantly surprised at how well our new kids have gelled with our old kids. Anytime you bring six freshmen in, you, you wonder how long it's going to take for them to buy into your system, buy into your program, do all the little things that are kind of part of your culture that make you a better team. And the team chemistry piece of it has been really easy to us for this year, which I'm really excited about. Um, the kids are really gelling together. Uh, we started a scrimmage three days into to preseason and did uh, much better than I had anticipated that early on. I think our new kids you know, were able to come in and, and play right away. Our old kids provided the leadership and really kind of helped each other out. So I think we're definitely further along than I had ever anticipated us to be after our first two weeks of preseason. I think we've come a long way from the beginning. We weren't as cohesive as we are now. Um, we have a lot of freshmen, we have six freshmen that came in, which was kind of like our freshman year, so we have a whole new squad, but I think as a team as a whole, um, we've connected quicker than in years past, and I'm excited for what is going to come now. We did lose quite a few, um, lost three seniors, and we bring back one senior. Um, our senior nights can be really quick because we have our one senior setter, you know, but in Casey, she's been playing for a starter, as a starter for us all four years that she's been here. She'll start again this year, I'm sure. She just brings such an energy and such um, an excitement onto the floor and that, that leadership isn't something that you can teach so we're expecting a lot out of her as that lone senior. She'll carry a little extra weight on her shoulders this year. You know, in our junior class, um, we have five in our junior class right now, bringing back three starters and two kids that got some playing time last year. Caitlin DiGiacinto, we're looking at her to be, you know, a dominant on, on the outside. Um, she's an all-around consistent player. She's healthy. Um, she can hit from front row, she can hit from back row, she plays the serve where she won't, so I would expect to see her in the running there um, in the conference. Um, Alex Seolis, our lefty, 5'10 lefty on the right side, is also a setter for us, so she brings a full game for us. She sets for us, she hits for us, she blocks for us. Serving is, is definitely a strength of hers as well. Shelby Henderson is returning in the libero position. She's looking solid and strong right now. She's really kind of running our defense for us, which is where we need to be. And then we have Hannah McQueen, who has really started preseason off strong. She's hitting really well um, and working really hard on getting better at the blocking position. Um, and Hannah Karras, I'd expect to see on, our, on the right side for us with the blocking and um, the height that she adds on that side. So I'd expect to see those, those kids um, in the mix. We have two sophomores in Jess Starr, who actually is a red shirt which is really a redshirt freshman. Um, she is healthy and ready to come back and, and give a run for it defensively. She provides us great defense, um, back row attacks, a great serve. It's really tough for people to, to get after. Allie Briley um, off of an injury, an ACL that ended her season last year, and, and she's probably stronger than she was um, prior to injury. Working really hard on being mentally tough, working really hard on getting back on the court, and I, I think we're gonna see lots of great things from her. And then uh, six freshmen to add to, to add to the roster. We're looking at two for sure that are going to get out there and start for us in the middle positions. Um, Aaron and um, Ayla Harris. And, um, you know, you bring a 6 3, she can also play right side. Aaron Bistini brings us an outside and middle option. Um, they both are very dominant at the net. I would expect to see some big numbers for them. And they're coming in having to fill some pretty big shoes with our two graduating senior middles. Um, Angela Collins also will be looking for some playing time in the middle as well. We brought in Deja Stanek uh, coming off of an ACL injury as well and uh, she is good for us in both the uh, middle and right side position which will be challenging some folks for that opportunity. Uh, we brought in two local players in Aubrey Cresswell and Courtney McDonald. Um, Courtney has a very powerful serve, a hard topspin serve that a lot of teams struggle with. She'll provide us as a, uh, some defense there. And Aubrey is a really kind of an all-around player. Uh, she's really kind of developing. She hasn't had a lot of club experience, but she can hit outside, she can hit right side. She's got a nice serve um, and just works really, really hard. So I expect to see a lot of great things coming out of our six freshmen, along with all of our returners. I think that they're really going to help put us in a solid position to make a chase for hopefully another South Division and ultimate goal of a conference title and an opportunity to get out and uh, get into that NCAA tournament. Our team goal for the season is to get to playoffs and then from playoffs we want to win the banner. For the past three years we have got to playoffs and we haven't got the banner yet and that is my goal for this year. As a senior I have just added on leadership roles like doing the team dinners and being more in charge on and off the court but I've always kind of been in charge because I've been a setter since my freshman year and I've been starting. As a team we definitely want to be 
first in the South Division again. We want to obviously go to playoffs. We want to win conferences. We want a banner. That's what we want every year. And this year I'm really excited and I think it's pretty approachable for us to be able to get it.